let's check out the cyber cycles oscillator here now we've got the awesome oscillator on top of it but this cyber cycles oscillator now let's just define what that is real quick now is a study designed by John uh, looks like Ehlers used for isolating the cycle component of the market from its trend counterpart unlike the RSI cyber cycles oscillator wave has a variable amplitude oh, okay so we can see when it gets above zero you know a lot of this uh, motion here becomes accurate okay Yeah, maybe we can use this as some sort of a crossover study. And when things start to cross back over, okay, that's a good indication. This looks a little bit like the Mesa sine wave, but not, not exactly. But I could see how this could be useful to trading. and maybe even to scanning. Now I'm not sure what the amplitude is on it, what it's based on, but we can certainly smooth out a lot of the look in the market, the motion. Although here we would have thought that was some sort of a bottom possibly. Well, not if you would have realized the divergence. Let's check out some of our Darvis signals with this oscillator. All right, so what do we have going off this week? Etsy, LMAT, SEM, SLCA, NUVA, AFI, ELOX, and MBI. Let's pull up Etsy here. Okay, we can see how it kind of might have hit a bottom here and started to trend back up. And long term, you can zoom out and see what's really going on. And many of these look similar. A little bit high on the daily chart, though. Nice dip there that we could have caught and seen. This can really help us with some of our uh, some of our trading indicators. So if we use just this Tima with this indicator here in the scanner we'd be able to find uh, accurate information. I, mean, I would certainly recommend using this indicator over many others. And let's just take the awesome oscillator back out stack it back on type on you know, on top of this cyber cycles and now we have a bit of a MACD that maybe even performs better than the MACD so you can start to you know, kind of cross-reference both of the indicators together and learn about stacking your indicators to get uh, better signals. Maybe even for lower time frames. Most definitely if you are day trading.
see this big bubble here, bubble here. And they don't really agree with each other. And the price flies up. See a bubble here. They don't really agree with each other, and then price flies up. So that could be something to look for, too. You know, look for the pressure and then the pop. And let's check out the lower time frame here. It certainly has interesting action. Okay, we see it get bullish here again. Even on the lower time frame, it seems to do really well if you can catch it. You know, 15 minute time frame, it kind of blew up there. And even if you caught it at the top, you still could have got a little bit on it. So, certainly add this to your arsenal of things you can trade with and get out there and use it. And I will see you in the next video.